In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to change the password on your Chromebook so that you'll have to enter a different password to log into it. The password on your Chromebook is actually the same as your Google account password. So to change the password on your Chromebook, you would just need to change your Google account password. And Timmy will show you how to do that in a second. But if you want your Chromebook password to be different from your Google account password, you can actually set up a pin on your Chromebook instead, which Tamil will show you how to do towards the end of this video. This can often be a really good option because it means your Google account password can be nice and complicated and secure, but you can still have a nice, simple, easy to type pin that you'll be typing every day when you log into your Chromebook. So stick around to the end of the video for that, but if you want to change your Google account password to change your Chromebook's actual password without adding a pin, the first thing you need to do is go to google.com on your Chromebook. So this is the new tab page here, and that'll actually work just fine. But if you don't have this page, just go to google.com and press enter. And now, once you're here, just click on your profile picture up here and then click Manage Your Google Account. So now we're going into the settings of your Google account where you'll be able to change your password. So now in here, there's quite a lot of options, but you'll just need to click on Security down the side here and then scroll down a bit to Signing into Google, this section here, and you'll see Password here and it tells you when you last changed it. So. To change your password, just click here. And now it will ask you for your current Google account password. And that's just to make sure it's definitely you who's changing the password, because if someone else could change your password, that would be really bad. So you just need to enter your current password now. And then once you've typed that in, you can go ahead and click next. And now, you'll get this page where you can enter a new password. So you should really make your password quite secure, so nothing super easy to guess, and ideally some numbers and symbols, but you can actually make your password whatever you want on Google, as long as it's at least eight characters. So go ahead and type your new password in, and then once you've typed it in here, You'll just need to come down and type it in again in this box just to confirm that you typed the right thing. And that's all you need to do. Now you can click change password here and it will explain that you'll stay signed in on some of your devices. You might not get this message depending on what other devices you have, but Timmy's being told Timmy will stay signed in on all of Timmy's phones. So Timmy will click OK, change password. And now your Google account password will be changed. So now, whenever you log into your Google account anywhere in the future, you'll need to use this password. And you might also have to log back into your Google account on some of your other devices. But now on your Chromebook, you should see this notification telling you that your password has been changed and you'll need to log out and log back in again. If you don't see this notification, don't worry. It's actually happened to me before where it took several hours for the Chromebook to realize Timmy's Google password had changed. So if this happens to you, you'll just need to wait for a bit and perhaps after a while, log out of your Chromebook and log back in again with your old password. And hopefully that will prompt it to give you this notification. But Hopefully the notification will just appear right away like it does now. And you'll just need to click sign out. So now you'll be signed out of your Chromebook and you'll be taken back to the login screen, the screen you use every time you turn it on. But as you can see this time, instead of having a box here to enter your password, it's just this sign in button. So you'll just need to click sign in here and it will bring up this page saying please wait and it'll put your Google account email address in there for you. So you can just click next and move on to the password page 
And now you'll need to enter the new password we just created. So go ahead and do that now. And then just go ahead and click next. And now if you have two factor authentication on your Google account, you will get this step telling you to check your phone. And then on your phone, you'll see something like this saying, are you trying to sign in? And you just need to say, yes, that's me because it is of course you on your Chromebook and then we'll continue. So now, whether or not you had to use two-factor authentication, you'll now need to enter your old Google password. So just go ahead and type that in and then click next. And now you're logged back into your Chromebook and your password has been changed. So you can click restore apps if you want and it'll reopen all your apps. And that's all there is to it. Now your Google account and Chromebook password is changed. So now whenever you log into your Chromebook or log into your Google account on any other device, you'll need to use the new password you just set. But if you want to add a pin to your Chromebook, instead of changing your Google account password, you'll just need to click on this menu in the bottom right hand corner here. So click on the time. And then in this menu here, click on the settings icon up the top. And now you'll be in the settings. So now in settings, you just need to scroll down a bit until you get to security and privacy. And then under security and privacy here, you'll see lock screen and sign in. So to me, will click on that to go into that. And now, You'll just need to enter in your Google account password. So to me, will type that in now and then click confirm. And now we're in all the lock screen and password settings. So to set a pin on your Chromebook, you'll see here where it says lock screen from sleep mode, it's set to password only at the moment. But if you click pin or password and set up pin, you can now create a pin. So the pin has to be at least six numbers. So it's similar to the code to unlock your phone and you just need to choose a pin. So to me, we'll choose one now. To me, might just do one, two, three, four, five, six. You should not do that. You should do something at least a bit more secure than that. But just for this tutorial, that's what to me will do. And then when you're happy with your pin, just click continue. And it'll ask you to retype it to confirm it. So to me, we'll do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And click confirm. And now you have your pin set. So now you can close the settings app if you want to. And maybe that one too. And now if you sign out of your Chromebook, so to me, will sign out here to go back to the login screen. Now on the login screen, under your name and profile picture, it will have an option to type in the pin. And if you ever forget the pin or you just don't wanna type the pin, you can click switch to password and then you'll be able to type in your Google account password and sign in. But if you don't wanna to have to type in your Google account password every day, you can just set your pin like this and then just type one, two, three, four, five, six, or click the numbers on the screen. And now you will be signed in. And it's as simple as that. And that's all there is to changing the password on your Chromebook. So whether you decided to change your Google account password or add a pin to your Chromebook for easy access, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below and Tim, we'll see you in the next video.